Hey guys, and welcome back. I'm Chris Mazzarella, and you're watching No Reserve Classics. And before we get started, guys, if you haven't done it already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell, because you never know. Your dream ride could be in the next video. And here we have it, the 1969 Chevrolet Camaro RSSS LS3 Pro Touring Convertible. And this baby is featuring that exclusive House of Colors black beautiful gloss paint. As you pop that hood open, you're gonna see an LS3 376 motor and a TKO 600 Tremec manual transmission. And all that horsepower is brought down to the ground with an awesome 12 bolt built rear end. On the inside, a classful taste of art, a monochromatic red hand stitched leather interior and of course, you know it has air conditioning, a full sound system, power steering, and much more. But we're gonna drive this car, and underneath the underbody of this car, it has been painted lightly with Linex to prevent any type of rock chipping, showcasing that Global West suspension from front to rear, and of course, the dual adjustable Viking shocks. So guys, stay tuned, because we're gonna take a little bit closer look into this wonderful piece of art. And I know you can't be with me here today on this beautiful turntable, but if you visit us at No Reserve Classics, you'll be able to take a 360 degree virtual tour of the beautiful exterior of this car. And after you're done with that, hop over to the inside for another 360 degree virtual tour. And if you have any questions on how to get this one of a kind ride into your garage, feel free to give me a call, Chris, at 1-800-562-7815, and I'll be sure to guide you through the full process. All right, guys, got the keys, and let's see what this one-of-a-kind Custom 69 really sounds like. All right, baby, easy startup, of course. Oh, man! Woo-wee! Guys, that car, did you hear that rumble on this bad boy? Woo! All right, I don't know if you guys are ready, but I'm sure ready. We got the top down, so let's put that baby back up and hop inside and let's go for a ride. Haha, <laughs> guys, so here we have it. From the beautiful exterior of this vehicle all the way to the phenomenally crafted interior, this car makes me feel like a million bucks. I knew as soon as I sat down in this seat, this is the car for me. Beautiful, I feel like I should be wearing a suit right now. It's so elegant. The exterior of the car, that beautiful tuxedo black with all those hidden custom accessories that have been mounted on it. From the front bumper to the rear bumper, they've been shaved down and fit to this vehicle. Looks factory looking, even the cowl on it. Normally you would see those windshield wipers with the slats in there, completely removed and smoothed out. Just a lot of things on the exterior of this car that put it next to another 69 Camaro, you're gonna notice those difference immediately. But if you didn't know what this car had, you would just pass on a buy. Be like, wow, that's really nice. But you don't gotta remember how much work has been put into the exterior of this car to make it give it that OEM appearance. But let's face it guys, most of the time we're gonna be right here in this driver's seat. Like I was just saying, a million bucks. And as you see this vehicle from the side, you're gonna notice that beautiful stance, that aftermarket suspension, the frame connectors making this car super solid. And that's due to the coilovers that are on this system, the adjustability of the shocks showcasing those Willwood brakes that are behind those staggered Budnick 18 and 19 inch wheels. They're two piece, super elegant looking, matching the interior once again. That awesome gray finish with that brushed polished lip on there, give it an excellent touch. And it, as you circle around the car, you have the cleanliness of it, right? You have the Detroit Speed Electronic front end kit on there with the resto modded LED package. And in the back, the matching Eddy Motorsports billet taillights that are LED as well. Now under the hood, LS3 500 horsepower motor. That's connected to a TKO 600 manual transmission 
and all that is going through a 12 bolt rear end that is built by Bill Thompson himself. And it does have the screw posi rear in there. So when you're taking off at a light, bam, both of those babies are gonna be lighting it up, leaving those rubber mats on that tarmac ahead. I mean, let's face it, most of the time we're gonna be on the inside of the car, right? In this driver's seat, and you have this beautiful view ahead of you. Custom Classic Industries gauges, custom dash on here from top to bottom, the center console in this car. Like I said, the outside, super smooth and super clean. You might not notice a few things. And that's what it is on the inside too. And one thing I really wanted to point out about this center console is just the time that it was put in to make the center console. It was made out of steel, out of metal, handcrafted by hands. Not something on a machine and not something that you can get anywhere. The ductwork tucked under just elegantly. The ductwork that is pulled into the custom speaker pods that are on the driver and passenger sides just tucked up just a little bit. But in that console, not only goes from the front, but pulls all the way through to the rear. So just imagine the hundreds of hours handcrafting that metal, shaping it, grinding it, and then wrapping it in this beautiful red luxurious leather. So above that beautifully custom console is the vintage air conditioning unit in here, billet as well. So right now it's a little chilly out. It's about 42 degrees. I got the heat blasting. But when that sun comes out, baby, and it's 80, 90 degrees, you drop the power top, put that air conditioning on, and let everybody know, hey, check out this beautifully red handcrafted interior. It just offsets the outside. Man, I love it. Normally where it would be manual windows on here, super flush and custom. It has power door locks, power windows, and even that power top. Now that power top is a Mercedes power top, right? hearts, cloth, elegancy, beautifulness, the craftsmanship on this car. It's a work of art from the inside to the out. It's art. There's no other way to put it in this type of vehicle than art, simplicity. Just look at the dashboard. Look how clean and elegant it looks. The outside, clean and elegant, beautiful. The polished Budnick steering wheel that matches the Budnick wheels that are on the car, simple things that are made out through this car that just give it a pleasure of driving. So talk about that pleasure of driving. Beautiful seats, two toned on here, two different types of leather material on here, very soft. The lap belt also matching with the red upholstery on here with that chrome clip on there. So one thing you'll notice, but maybe you, want, you might not notice this, it's just how quiet this car is. No bumpy, no squeaking, no weird noises coming from the windows. The dash is super sturdy. And why is that? That's because the suspension that's paired with this vehicle. It has the Viking coilover suspension on here, paired up with some frame connectors, giving this car a sturdy and subtle stance that's with it. And we're gonna showcase that right now. We're gonna go through some turns and put this baby right to work. All right, guys, so we're going to downshift real quick. Let's take this turn. Woo, a little sideways there. Wow. I will tell you the confidence that this car gives me. Holy mackerel. I feel like I can do a turn at 80, 90, 100 miles an hour and be stuck to the road. Just super confidence. The suspension, the outside, the inside, the way it's crafted. The how solid the car feels in amazement. I mean, I was just taking that turn. I don't even think that I was turning the steering wheel because the power steering was just so great. When I did get a little bit sideways over there, those Wilwood six piston, four piston brakes in there were holding this car down and giving it that stopping power that we really need. But we're going over some bumps. I mean, this is great. This is so awesome. I mean, my daily drivers at Cadillac Escalade, so you get that Cadillac feel, and I definitely feel it with this 69 Camaro. Now, even though that red is in your face, it's the simplistic nature of this vehicle. I mean, plugging in your phone on this car, you don't see a radio in here, 
but you're surrounded with sound with hidden speakers all the way throughout. You take your phone, open up your center console, plug your phone in, and forget about it. Just turn that radio right up, drop the top, turn that radio up, and just enjoy the road ahead. All right, guys, well, you see that sun is setting. Time to go back to the barn, so don't go anywhere yet, because we're gonna dive a little bit deeper into this car and show you the artistic passion and nature of what it took to get this car how as it is today. So guys, let's drop a gear and disappear. Woohoo! All right, guys, and thank you for taking that ride with me. Man, this baby is a pleasure to drive, driving a piece of art. So we sat on the inside of this car, and let's take a look on the exterior of this car and talk a little bit about all the customization that this car has gone through. And it all starts off right here in the front end, the RS SS front end with the Detroit Speed electronic headlights. So no more waiting for that vacuum pump to pump up that air and open these babies up. You pull that handle and bam, it opens right up, fully electronic, showcasing the resto modded LED headlight package that's deep within there. Now looking at the car from the front, it might just look like another 69 Camaro, but a few cool features about that. That is a metal, full metal bottom D80 spoiler right under there. Now moving up just a little bit further, you're gonna see the color matched House of Colors black bumper on here. Now matching the back and the front of this. This bumper was actually cut, moved in, and then pushed in a little closer giving it that awesome sleek look and sleek appearance that you see right from the front end of this car. Also, that has been customized. Normally, you would have a blinker or parking light right on the fender. It has been deleted and smoothed out. Moving back just a little bit further than that, the, the kit, where do you see, what kind of car is this? Camaro SS. It has been deleted and removed as well. In the rear quarter, it has also been removed and deleted. And one more thing on the exterior that's also been deleted are the door keyholes. Now, I really like the look of just having a handle. I mean, there's nothing here from the front to the rear. There's no trim on any of the wheels. Simple, simple, simple. You just press that door handle and bam, that baby opens right up. But it looks Great. What even looks even nicer are these custom Budnick wheels that are on here. They are 18s in the front and 19s in the rear. When you look at them, you're gonna say, man, those babies are nice. Why? Because they're a two-piece billet forge solid weld on the back of this baby, showcasing what's right in the back. That six-piston Willwood drilled and slotted up front and the four-piston drilled and slotted in the rear definitely giving this baby enough stopping power. And as we flow into the top of this vehicle, the windshield wipers are missing. Where'd they go? Normally, there'd be vents on the cowl over here, a bunch of little slits in here, letting that cowl breathe for the windshield wipers. That has been fully cut out, welded, and filled in. Just the quality of the craftsmanship, just to do that little portion, is hundreds of hours of work. So you know the rest of the car looks absolutely great. And if you look up just a little bit further than that, you're gonna notice those Eddie Motorsports billet LED taillights. And right above that, where you normally would see a D80 spoiler package, has well been smoothed out and cleaned up and flush mounted. So overall, the stance of this car is absolutely like driving a piece of art. I mean, look at that Mercedes Hearts convertible top, that power top. You press that button and man, she disappears. So just overall, an excellent piece of art that not only can you look at, but you can drive it as well. So let's lift that hood. And wow, just as beautiful as the exterior, starting with the underside of the hood, fully painted with that gloss black finish on there and held up with the Eddie Motorsports billet aluminum hood hinges. But the heartbeat right here, LS3, over 500 horsepower in this bad boy. But what I really like about this engine compartment is just how clean it is. I mean, nothing on the inner fender wells, beautifully painted satin black, radiator cap painted satin black, the fender braces also billet on there, and all of the bolts on here 
are also stainless steel. Big bucks when you're talking just in these tiny little bolts for the hood, the brackets, everything. Really, really nice. I mean, even the vintage air conditioning system has been tunneled right through the inner fender well. You don't see any wires, any cables, any computers up underneath here. But what I do like is just the subtle touches of all these chrome and polished parts on this vintage vintage air front runner kit that's on this system giving it a class and an elegant look like i said once and once over again i mean even the air inlet tube right here fully polished and chromed out man just tastefully done really really nice job so the ls3 motor on here very nice like i said over 500 horsepower but what's keeping that cool that big triple core aluminum radiator in there with that single electronic fan on that part with the Willwood brake system on here. It is also billet polished with the hydraulic clutch reservoir that's also billet aluminum. And those components are connected to that awesome smoothed out firewall. So this baby's got it all, power steering, air conditioning, not only a car that you can go to a show with, but you can go as well. This has got it both, show and go baby. Oh man, here we are in the beautiful one-off monochromatic interior that awesome hand stitch to the leather all the way throughout from top to bottom left and right and up and down this baby is definitely one of a kind now starting with the dash normally you'd see that black you know leather vinyl piece just stuck right on there no this baby is fully customized underneath that normally you would see those speedo and the rpm gauge right in front of you custom one-off classic instrument display and bezel. Now all of this from top to bottom on this dash has been customized and painted with the satin red to match the full interior on that. Just below that you're going to notice the billet aluminum vintage air conditioning in this car as well as two other buttons, your headlight button which is also billet and your billet power top button. Just press that baby and boom the top comes right back up. Standing in front of you, the Budnick steering wheel with, of course, that red leather on there, matching those rims and tires that we were just looking at earlier. What's really nice about this steering wheel, it does have the tilt function. Now, the center console. Now, moving forward, you're going to see the TKO Tremec 600, which is a five-speed manual transmission with an awesome billet aluminum shifter in there. Just looking really, really nice. Below that, power door locks. Press those babies, you're gonna have an unlock and lock, as well as power windows. That's right, if you look at the custom door panels with that aluminum handle, that's the only thing. Just open the door and go. No switches over here, and no more manual window roll ups. So you don't have that in the front, and you definitely don't have it in the rear. And as I was saying earlier before, when I was taking this baby for a ride, the center console in this bad boy has been handcrafted from metal from front all the way to the back seats over here, giving you and showcasing those awesome air vents that are in the center console as well as above the custom kick panel speakers. So no matter if you're sitting up front in these awesome captain's chairs or in the rear with those awesome captain's chairs, basically just pull it out, plug your phone in, full surround sound, not only are you driving a work of art, but a classy and modern, comfortable automobile. Wow, it is so nice to see a car that has been so well restored and preserved and has that awesome and super solid of an underbody. What they did with this vehicle, which you'll be able to go to our site and take a look at all the photos of the restoration of this car because it's totally insane. They stripped everything down and gave the underbody a nice light coat of Linex. What that's gonna do is it's gonna help prevent any rock chips and rust from going up and destroying such a beautiful car. What it does is it showcases all of the qualities of the underbody. You'll be able to see the front subframe of this car. Now what's really special about this front subframe is it was done at Global West. What they did was they removed the whole front subframe on there. Normally on these type of cars, you're gonna see a spot weld. So you'll see a weld and then a space and then a weld and then a space and so on and so forth through the front subframe. Unfortunately with that, it's not as sturdy. What they did was they took all of those welds off 
and did one continuous weld from front to rear, making it super tight and super strong. You're gonna need that with a motor that's over 500 horsepower. Now, after they got that all completed and installed, they installed, of course, the Global West suspension system, upper and lower control arms, and of course, the Viking dual adjustable coilovers. Now, in the rear of this vehicle, since it does have so much horsepower, they installed Global West frame connectors, which are actually welded in. They're bolted and welded in, giving it more rigidity. And in the rear of this car, matching with the front, you're gonna get those awesome dual adjustable Viking shocks. Now, that 12 bolt rear in there, it is built by Bill Thomas with a screw posi. Of course, it's made by Eaton, only the best of the best. So when you put this baby up on the lift, because it's all black on black, the coolest thing you're gonna notice about it is that toy finish. The only thing you see is that exhaust that's been coated from the front all the way to the rear. Streaming and gleaming, baby. And there you guys have it, the 1969 Chevrolet Camaro RSSS LS3 Pro Touring Convertible featuring that LS3 with over 500 horsepower, the TKO 600 manual transmission, and that Billy Thomas 12 bolt rear end. You can't forget the monochromatic red hand stitched leather interior with that vintage air conditioning and that awesome bumping sound system. The underbody super clean, the Global West suspension. This is one piece of art any collector or driver would love to have in their collection. And guys, I'm Chris Mazzarella, and you've been watching No Reserve Classics. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to give me a call, Chris, at 1-800-562-7815. And if you guys haven't done it already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, because you never know, your dream ride could be in the next video. Thank you.